to sales for India Democrats. and China uh, have been real motors of growth. You know, America is the largest market, accounts for nearly half of all diamond sales. But over the last decade, India and China have been growing double digit and really been driving growth. And while, you know, again, not immune from economic slowdown, if you take the longer term picture, there's no doubt that there's still substantial opportunity. In China, we've seen really strong growth from the tier three and tier four markets as uh, the diamond retailers push out across China. And really interestingly, in the report we've just published, we've seen really strong growth from the 18 to 29 year old uh, Chinese women receiving diamonds for important milestones, birthdays, uh, obviously uh, the wedding is key, anniversaries among young married. So that idea of the diamond as the gift of love uh, really beginning to penetrate with the with the young Chinese. How are online sales changing the face of the industry? I mean, you have some very beautiful pieces right now that I can physically take a look at. Mm. Uh, are you generating this kind of excitement when you're doing sales online? Yeah, you know, online is a is an important marketing tool. But to be honest, particularly in China and India, it's more a marketing tool than a sales tool. So people use online to learn a lot about a product that maybe they don't know much about. It's a great way to tell stories about brands. It's a great way to learn a little bit about the quality of diamonds before you go into store. And you're